Good afternoon, everyone, and we're coming to you live from TechSmith headquarters in Okemos, Michigan. Uh, my name is Sam Picaruto, and I'm a product marketing manager here at TechSmith, and I work with the Snagit for Chrome team. Uh, we wanted to first apologize and acknowledge some of the technical difficulties that we went through a little bit earlier today when uh, we had some failures with our Google Hangouts. So we just wanted to say thank you for hanging with us, and thank you for your, uh, thank you for your support. We're certainly glad to have you with us, and hopefully this one will go a little bit easier. So with that, uh, let's get straight to the announcement portion of this, of this Hangout. Uh, and for that, I'll pass the, the badan over to Kelly Rush, who is the product owner of Snagit for Chrome. Take it away, Kelly. Thanks, Sam. Thanks again, everyone, for, uh, for having some patience with us. So a uh, lot of rumors and speculations as to what today's announcement could be for Snagit for Google Chrome. And I'm happy to say that we are announcing the screencasting feature in Snagger for Google Chrome. So that is actually available right now. Uh, you can uh, enable it in uh, beta mode, and Josh is going to show you how to do that in just a second. Uh, before we do that, I just wanted to underscore that this is a beta. Um, so some things are not quite ready yet, and as you use them, you could find that they change over the course of time or that there could be some bugs. Hopefully not too many. We'll try to keep it as stable as possible. Uh, but in the meantime, if you run into anything, if you head over to feedback.techsmith.com or in the Chrome Web Store, we have a way to report bugs. Either one of those places, you can let us know what's going on, and we'll take a look at it. And if you have any feedback for us, we'd love to hear that too. And then one other note um, regarding performance. So the screen recording feature will work uh, very well on desktop, so on your Mac and Windows desktop it will be fine. On the Intel-based Chromebooks, we found that it works pretty well. Uh, the frame rate is pretty good. On the ARM-based Chromebooks, unfortunately, because of the lack of performance uh, on those processors, it's just a little bit slow. We're going to keep doing what we can to make it more efficient, but for right now we recommend that you uh, use the screencasting feature either on Intel-based Chromebooks or on desktops. So. I think that's it for me as far as the intro stuff goes, and you'd probably rather actually see how to enable the beta and see it in action. So, like I said, I'm going to turn it over to Josh Holnagel. Take it away, Josh. Thanks, Kelly. Uh, I'm going to say hi and then share my screen, so you won't see me in a second. And then if, um, Caitlin, you should probably check my name so that the screen stays up, if that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and screen share. Let me know if you can see it. Thanks. Should we be seeing the Chrome Web Store? Is that yes, correct? All right, everybody. So um, Kelly did say that it's, it's beta features, and that's for sure, but we don't have a separate beta build. It's, it's built into the store build. If you don't have Snagit for Chrome, the easiest way to find it is to go to the uh, Chrome Web Store and just search for Snagit up there in the search bar. Press Enter. And you'll see two things. One is an app and one is an extension and we need them both. So uh, for those of you that have been using it as an image capture, you know that the extension captures and the app is where you edit and share and all those things. And you see your library and all that stuff. But this is, uh, this is how you add those real quick. So they're both free and you press that button, the free button over there, and then add accepting the permissions. And that's the app. So it comes up in the app launcher installing right there. That's good. Green check mark. Perfect. And then you're going to go to the extension as well. And you could I clicked on it, so that's fine. You can add it from here, too, and add that as well. And then you'll get a notification that it's been added up here. So the extension is what you see at the end of the Omnibar, the search bar here, in your Chrome browser. Close that. At that point, we're done with the store. And then if you don't know too much about extensions, if you ever go to Chrome colon slash slash extensions, you can see all the extensions that you have installed. Right now, I just have these two, and they're both installed and checked for enabled. So that's good. Um, I'm not going to go into the image capture or anything today. We're here to talk about screencasting, so I will talk about that. Let me bring up something that I'd like to do a really quick, very uh, as brief as possible screencast about. Let's say that I was going to uh, show somebody how to make a duplicate slide in, um, in Google Slides here, in a Google presentation. So we'll just go with that. And uh, what I want to do then is go to the app launcher, and I'm going to open up Snagit. 
And what you want to do is you want to click this Enable Experimental Features. Now, by default, that'll be off just like that. So the first time you come in here, you click on this, and you'll see this uh, box will be unchecked. You want to check that. And this is what turns on the experimental or beta features that we're working with and showing you today. And, and at this point, um, everything screen recording related is under that flag, under that checkbox. So if you want to do any screen recording, you've got to check that. Um, a couple things will happen. First, you'll get an audio input level here. It's picking up my microphone. And then you can adjust that if you need to, if, you're, if your mic is a little too hot or whatever. But here's an adjustment for recording your voice as you record your screen as well. And then the second thing that happens, I'm going to go ahead and close this box, is you'll get uh, a new screen recording button in the library. So in order to do a screen recording, this is what you got to do. you got to come right to the library, open up Snagit, and you only have to check that box once. Every time you come back in after that, it should already be checked. But uh, I'll click this here, and I should get this message. Perfect. It's working, it's working just as designed. So what it did is it tried to tried to do a screen recording, and it, it, uh, it's indicating here that I need to enable a beta, a Chrome beta flag. So not only are, are kind of we in beta, we have our beta features, but um, we're also using something that's in the beta version of Chrome right now. So it, it's, uh, it's not in the, the standard version of Chrome, and we want to use that feature. It's a screen sharing feature, so we want to do that. And there's some instructions on how to do that. It's just a link you can click. You can go to this, um, this URL right here that's going to be in your Chrome uh, browser. So I'll click this, and it should pop me over to that. And let me just move this out of the way for now so you can see what's going on. But we have, uh, it's taken us to the Chrome Flags page, and it scrolled down and highlighted the one that we need to enable. So this is the Enable button right here. It's disabled by default. We want to enable it. Um, what's going to happen here is I'm going to click this Enable, and that should work fine. And then I'm going to have to go down and, and restart Chrome. So let's try this. OK, it's enabled. And, and that's fine. But if you look down in the lower left down here, it says your changes will take effect the next time you relaunch Google Chrome. So what you have to do is you have to relaunch Google Chrome. Now, unfortunately, what that's going to do is it's going to kick me out of the Hangout because I'm running uh, I'm in this Hangout through Google Chrome. So it's going to boot me out for a minute. But I'll be back in just a moment. So I'm going to click Relaunch now. <clears throat> And just like he said, there he goes. So we planned for this, and uh, in the meantime, while we wait for Josh to get back, uh, I just wanted to say thanks to the uh, beta testers that we've had. So we had a really great group of people from the education technology community helping us sort of kick the tires on this before we put it out a little bit more publicly. So uh, I just wanted to say thanks to uh, Greg McVary, Neil Boyd, um, Jonathan Wiley, Jason Klein, Katie Reagan. Um, I'm sure I'm missing a bunch more people here, um, but we had just great support from them, and they showed us uh, what what was working, what wasn't working. They gave us some really great examples of using the app, um, especially in an education setting. So, um, just huge thanks to them for helping us out. And Sam. Anything else to, to talk about while we wait for Josh to get back? And before you had promised us a juggling act, is that going to make an appearance? <laughs> uh, no, I don't have actually anything to juggle with, so I'm sorry that I can't dazzle the, the viewers with my juggling capability. <laughs> but I do see that Josh just got back on. Good to see him back, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll let him take back over with showing off the screen recording. Yeah, what it... Um... I'll, I'll show the screen here in a second. And uh, when it does relaunch, it doesn't take that long to relaunch Chrome. The problem was I had to find the link to join the Hangout again, so that took me a, much longer than actually relaunching. OK, so I click Screen Share again. Let me know if you've got that. Can everybody see OK? Good to go. OK, so uh, again, we, we've, we've enabled it. And right here, I'll just show you that Chrome actually fires back up. It'll keep your tags, tabs open and everything that you had open. So I'm done with the flags now. I can close that. And then I'm back to, uh, back to my presentation, which I'd like to record. So I'll bring Snagit back to the front. And this time, when I click New Screen Recording, it should actually start recording my screen uh, as long as I click this button, which says, it's text Ms. Snagit would like to share your screen. Do you want to allow that? And then you want to press Yes. When you do that, that's going to start your recording. And um, it might look your, your error message, or not your error message, your message uh, dialog box here might look a little different depending on what system you're on, you know, Windows, Macintosh, and Chrome OS. But um, should basically ask you to, for permission to share your screen, press yes, and I will start recording. So I'll go into teacher mode here. 
All right, in this short screencast, I would like to show how to uh, make a duplicate of a slide in a Google presentation. And on your slide, a list of slides on the left-hand side, you just right-click on the slide, find the duplicate slide option. It gives you an exact copy of the slide that you duplicated. And you, know, you could use this to come in here if you've got, uh, if you've got the same format for maybe a, a weekly assignment or something with your students. And um, so we could change that to 823, and then I could change the, the, te the text of the questions here, maybe change the image, all that stuff. And that's it. So when you're done recording, you want to find this little, this little guy down here that says stop sharing. Again, it might look a little different depending on where it was, uh, or depending on which OS you're on, I should say. And for an example, in Chrome OS, it's over in the right-hand corner, but you're just looking for a stop. That should bring up Snagit's uh, library again. And um, we get a preview here. So here is what I have, and you should be able to hear what I'm saying. Turn it up a little bit. And on your slide, the list of slides on the left-hand side, you just right-click on the slide, find the duplicate slide option, give you an exact copy of the So there we have it. It's 40-second screencast, and, um, and now I'm ready to share it. So I can do a couple things. I can share directly to YouTube. So I'll press the share button right there. Send to YouTube, you know, you can change the title, so we'll just make it something real quick. Presentation test, you can change the privacy there, and then uh, I'll share that. We get a blue bar at the bottom, it's uploading it to YouTube. And then I get a URL, it's already been copied to my clipboard, but there it is right there. Should be able to go back to new tab. Paste and go, and of course it's YouTube, so it's it's processing the video. The video is not quite ready yet, but um, in a few seconds, a few minutes, depending on how long your video is, it should be ready for for that. There, I can make any YouTube adjustments, sharing, and changes if I need to as well. And the other thing you can do is let me get snag it back up. Is uh, share to your Google Drive, and doing that will give you the shortened Google link as well, so you could share just the Google um, the Google Drive version of your file. And uh, I think that's it. I'm going to stop sharing my screen, kick it back to Kelly. That makes sense. Close this. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, so that's pretty much the new feature. Uh, like I said, we would love to hear any feedback that you guys have for us. Um, I also wanted to make sure to say thanks to Google for their help. So we've been talking with a few of the folks on their team. And they've given us some great help and advice uh, as we bring out the new feature. So we've been really glad to be able to work with them. And I think that's everything on my end. So Sam, you want to take us home? Sure. So thank you all for watching. We certainly appreciate the support. Uh, again, I'm going to reiterate like Kelly and Josh both did. Um, we're always looking for feedback, and we certainly take it all very, very seriously. So you can go to feedback.techsmith.com, or you can leave the feedback in the Chrome Web Store. And if you have anyone else that you'd like to share Snagit with, you can always uh, direct them to blogs.techsmith.com, and they can watch this overview video from there. Or you can just send them directly to the Chrome App Store and have them search Snagit to download the application and the extension. So again, thank you again for watching this video. Uh, we're really excited about all the features and the functionality that this brings, especially to the, the Chrome OS and Chromebooks in particular. If there's anything else that... Uh, we may have forgotten. Feel free to leave a comment either in the YouTube video, on our blogs, or at feedback.techsmith.com. Thanks again for joining us today, and have a good afternoon. Yeah, wait, the one thing I did want to show, if we're still on, is that um, I think you should be able to see this now, is that it is ready to be viewed on YouTube right now, too. So, uh, like Sam said, sorry for jumping in at the end, but thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks, everyone. Great. Take care. Bye-bye.